We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open our doors. So where does it fit in with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's example? He, as we all know, was the highest of all the messengers. He was the highest in rank. And he is the Nabi who was sent to us and the final one. So he has so many different points of being better than the others. Yet he was very, very humble. So humble that when people spoke to him in a bad way, you know how he reacted? We're going to his example because we need to learn because the topic here is about the example of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the goodness that lies in it for us to follow. Imagine he knew who he was. He knew who he was. And when people maltreated him and spoke ill about him and tried to harm him and in fact inflicted some bodily harm on him, what was his reaction? Before I get to it, think about what your reaction would be. If you knew you are the CEO or a president or a top leader in the world or a very, very rich man and someone insulted you, how would you feel? Perhaps that person would be jailed to say the least. If not, eradicated. Allah, Allah forgive us for even thinking in that direction. But we would want to vent it. If some young boy tells you, uncle, you say, yes, you are stupid. <laughs> Did you think I was going to say that? <laughs> Did you think I was going to say that in this talk? No. Well, I didn't think so either. <laughs> but how would we react? Say, hey, who are you? Where's your father? That's still a good reaction. Someone like me, one smack. <laughs> say, Uncle, no, you are very clever. <laughs> Uncle, you are sharp, mashallah. Why? Because he knows now I got one. So we, we would like to react in a specific way. Because our mind is tuned in that direction. You know, when I last spoke about minds being tuned in a specific direction, you see the television, what it does to us. People love movies. If I ask you, uh, name me some movies. In this hall, I'm sure we get about a thousand movies named Allah protect us. What does a movie do to you? SubhanAllah, it trains your mind to react in a specific way. Do you know that? It trains your mind to look at life in a specific way. It trains your mind what is good and what is bad. It trains, it actually comes and makes you or breaks you. That's what movies do. Especially when you are hooked onto them. You know one day, true story. When I was at high school and I went to a college, St. John's College in Zimbabwe in Harare. It's a very good school, one of the top schools there. And they have what is called civvies day. We call it civvies day, we're plain clothes day. You don't need to wear your uniform on this day. So I went just like how I am right now. That's how, this is how I went to school. And I was still in high school. And I was the only one dressed like this. And uh, everyone else was dressed in their own things. So we had an English teacher. I don't know where she is right now, but she was a very, very good English teacher. She looked at us, she looked at me and she says, stand up. I thought, oh no, okay, let's stand up. So I stood up. So she says, I can tell you something about you. I said, what? She says, you don't have a television at home. I said, yes. <laughs> I was so intrigued. I wanted to know, how do you know, ma'am? <laughs> so I asked her, how do you know? Do you know what she told me? Wallahi, what I'm about to say woke me up 20 years later, not at that time. She told me, you are original, that's why. <laughs> the rest of them, they're just wearing what they saw others wearing, and it's, they carry on that way. Everyone has their own things. You know now, you have an earring, you have a chain here, and you know how they walk. <laughs> Where did they get that from? They got it from the television, subhanAllah. The Quran did not say the television is Uswa Hasana. 